Hey everybody, Jittery J here. Hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Um, today's episode of An Idiot Abroad is entitled uh, Whale Watching. This is Season 2, Episode 4. We're going to see if Carl actually gets to see any whales, since he never got to swim with any dolphins last week. He got stuck with sharks, so <laughs> we'll see what happens this week. But before we do, we're going to hit the like and subscribe buttons on the original video. Make sure we show support over there. Uh, and then we're going to jump straight into this and see what antics Ricky and Stephen get up to this week. <laughs> I say Ricky and Stephen instead of Carl because they're the ones putting him through this. Anyway, let's get into this. The Bucket List. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Mm -hmm. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things right. to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, we told see? him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. This is doing me adding. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store. Somebody mentioned something, and I, 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 I thought the same thing. That as much as Carl likes monkeys, he sure didn't like them after he met them, did he? <laughs> it got on his nerves real fast. That was, that was funny. Door that he's not expecting. Fucking hell! This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. No. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. <laughs> Flying a fighter jet. Forget that. Not interested. Climbing a bridge. Forget that. Uh, let's see. In there. What are you choosing, Carl? Uh, whale watching. Okay, good choice. Why? Just whales. They're, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Biggest sort of <laughs> thing. Right. Um, Their tongue is as big as an elephant. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be weird if it had a human one. Human <laughs> size, and you said it's that big, and yet its tongue is human size. I still want to see it. <laughs> So, we'll send you to Alaska to whale watch. <laughs> okay. Would you be interested in spending time with some Eskimos? Or Inuits now. Uh, you don't say Eskimo, it's a derogatory term. Who's come up with that little problem for them? I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget, the preferred dwarf. No. And all that, Eskimos, what'll be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, <laughs> leprechauns don't exist. <laughs> no, but it's on the same line. Do not exist. It's the same thing, though. If they did, they go, don't call them that. They what do like leprechauns it. prefer to be called? Gnomes or. There's something. <laughs> there's something. Prefer to be called gnomes. So confused. Oh, God. I'm just saying, it's never the person who it is right. who's getting offended. It's always someone else. Right. Well, oh, it. he makes that really good point there. Every once in a while, Carl will drop a good one. He, it's never the person that, that they're talking about that get, that's getting offended. It's always someone getting offended on their behalf. And that shit drives me nuts. It's like, mind your fucking business. <laughs> that's the way I see it. That's what I do. I mind my business. Uh, but it, it, it's people that get offended on someone else's behalf that they have no part in. That drives me nuts. You know, I could see if they had some kind of uh, stake in it, if that makes sense. But yeah, other than that, it, it's it just it drives me crazy. So I see where Carl's going with that. Uh, he makes a really good point. Person who it is who's getting offended? It's always someone else. Right. Whale well watching, um, yeah. Good. All right. I think I moaned a lot last time. When I saw it back, I was like, oh, God, I'm moaning. I think it's the heat. When you think about it, the countries that are always at war and kicking off, it's always the hot ones. It's because mm -hmm. you get agitated. 
but I've never heard about an Eskimo kicking off. Right. It's like they're just cool. I think the cold is going to be tricky, but I'll, I'll handle it. I've got a special coat. I mean, it's not that great visually, to be honest. <laughs> if there is a whale, I'll probably miss it. Because it's, I mean, look, look at that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If there is a whale, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little bit jet lagged. Uh, it's a little bit nippy. But I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the whale thing is what I'm here for, isn't it? Hello, mate, it's Steve here. Um, look, Ricky and I were talking, uh -oh. and um, we thought it'd be a bit of a shame if you didn't take in some of the local culture and uh, visit the Arctic Circle on your way to see the whales. I know how much you enjoy a good walk, so we've arranged for a nice chat to take you um, via the scenic route. All right? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so Bye. <laughs> a nice oh, walk. It's global warming. <laughs> Ice is melting and all that. There's loads of it. Hello. Marty. Yes, Marty Rainey. How are you doing? Well, you must be Carl. I am, yeah. Have you been shopping? Well, I brought some things for you back there. One of these sleds is me. Your pack is on there, the same pack as I, that I have on. Let's feel the weight of that. Um... Where are we going? Do we honestly need this? I think you're carrying a lot of extra. No, we need that. This is very serious business. Just this seems a bit like a lot of work to do just for a walk. OK, stop and listen. Oh, I've noticed that when I was waiting like, for you. I, I noticed it's lovely and quiet. I love peace and quiet. You like the silence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I it's like It's like that. spiritual. But that's what I was going to say. It's lovely and quiet here. Is it much quieter up there? Oh, hey. You bastard. Hey, partner, you all right? I don't understand that you're doing it. Carl, this is called... Are, Are you OK? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you want to take a break? I'm not going to let it beat me. I like a walk, honestly. At home, I'm always walking. It's just <laughs> relaxing. But you can't do that here. It's just, it's just really hard work. Five foot snow shouldn't be being walked in. Just get up and keep rolling. You can do it. Yeah. Use your poles. You, use Come your on, poles. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Oh, you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He's good man. Surely it's good to <laughs> keep your energy in case you need it. If a polar bear comes around the corner, you've got to wrestle it. You've got no energy because you've been wading through five foot snow. You okay? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Hang on a minute. I kept saying, do we have to go through this five foot of snow? He's going, yeah, you'll love it. It's a good life lesson or whatever. Are you all right? Yeah, it's just flipped over. It's never going to come in handy, that. Because I know if it was like that at home, you'd go, right, let's stay in. Right. Combo box set. In for the day. Oh! You got a point. Well, what happened? The sleigh thing's tipped over. Do you want help? No, no, it's all right. I can sure. do this. Carl. I'll come back and help. No, don't be coming back. <laughs> Those are my skis. Don't lose them. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. You okay, bud? Yeah, I've sorted it. You all right? <sighs> yeah. What? You're using a lot of my breath up. You keep saying you're all right. I've got to say yeah. Then I'm using my breath up. Okay. You sure? Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 so he does it again. <laughs> I'm <leaving> a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Can you drink this? Yes. It's clean. There's no cleaner snow in the world. Is that OK? Yeah. I was dying of thirst. Have you got any water, Marty? No, we haven't got room for it. It weighs stuff. Well, hang on a minute. I'm carrying a spade here that we're not using. I think, I think water's more useful than walking around with a shovel. And when do you use that? Right. I was in five foot snow. Can I get the shovel? No, you don't need it yet. <laughs> when, at what point? How deep does something have to be before you go get the shovel out? Right. I'm just worried because I'm going in Marty's footsteps, so if he's been on dog shit... <laughs> Let's roll! Well, what are we doing? Are we doing a bit of skiing? I'm worried about that. At the end of the day, it's like going on a slide. But if you do that as a grown man, people go, look at that knobhead on a slide. 
It's a grown man, what's he doing on a slide? But for me, it's the same. <laughs> Let's see if you've got skis on. Follow okay. me. You coming? Yeah, I'm Hold coming. On tight. Come on, keep your legs together. Fucking hell. Grow up. Stop messing about on hills. <laughs> okay, and then you go up you go up a hill sideways. It's hard with a sled in a pack, I know. You know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now we're learning. I mean, even Eddie Eagle struggled, didn't he? And he was an Olympic fella. Concentrate, nice and perfect. Skis together, awesome. Awesome. We should stop saying that. That's annoying me. Everything's awesome. I've got no sort of point as to judge things by anymore. Where are you going? Follow me. We had a burger. It's awesome. Well, it's a burger. Let's calm down. <laughs> Say it's all right. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's a good burger. He raves about everything. Don't panic. You're good. You're good. Awesome. That was amazing. Nice. It's not easy. <sighs> we're over a mile away from where we're spending the night, and we will be getting back when it's dark, so we have to be uh, focused. I am. Awesome. It's all downhill. Woo! Fucking dead right there. Since I got off the plane, it's been downhill. There he goes. <laughs> I was it's waiting. Situation <laughs> there is no toilet. <laughs> but, but there is, there's a room for it. You've, you've gone to the trouble of having the room. All well, that's not just for changing or privacy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, you don't need privacy. OK, number one, you can just do over yeah, there. Yes, not a problem. OK, number two, you make yourself a, a nice, a nice wedged toilet paper, if you will. And I'm not joking. You are kidding. I'm not joking. You can have this one. Hang on now, earlier you were going on about me. <laughs> you keep your gloves on, and you just told me to wipe your arse with a chalk ice, basically. And hang on a minute, I've just remembered, you had me eating it over there. You said, yeah, the cleanest snow in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. My hands are so cold, I can't <laughs> even play. I wrote this song, you ready? It goes like this. <laughs> I really caribou you. <laughs> I'm a loon when you're a whale. It's hard for me to bear, because I love you so dear. I really caribou you. Your salmon, special to me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, 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 I had reason on that, too. I was like, oh, no. Because you don't want to, you don't want to insult your host. <laughs> but that was horrible. Uh... It's a little bit out of tune. Uh, I get what you're saying. His fingers are so cold. He couldn't play, though. <laughs> but, yeah, the right there says it all. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Salmon. Special to me. <laughs> it's all animal names. I like it. There's this... Mm. Been up for ages. You can leave the door open if you want, because it makes no difference. It's freezing. <laughs> Never known a night like it. I haven't slept, really. It's cozy in here. Yeah? That's the problem. I hate that, because that's what I mean. People at home will be going, looks lovely, that. It's the sort of thing you see in Switzerland, nice sort of yeah. log cottage. It's not. There's no insulation whatsoever. It's a shed, really, which, which are fine when they're at home, and you're just growing tomatoes in it or something. But when you try to sleep in it, Got a heater there that doesn't work. Pointless that, doesn't do anything. You've got a vac in the corner. Of all the things you need in here, heating <laughs> is essential. Unless they sort of think, back up, you warm up. It's freezing. <laughs> so doing all this, getting all dressed up like this, and you're thinking, oh, he's out on the, on the road again, he's getting out in the thick of it. I'm not coming out, I'll brush my teeth. Oh no. Hi mate. How's it going? Uh it's fucking freezing. <laughs> Is it? Well I, I I looked at the weather forecast from where you are and it said it was only like minus three, minus two. Right. Well what, what do you mean though? If that if that's the temperature at home, you'd be going, oh nippy today, innit? You certainly wouldn't go for a walk. I was out in it yesterday for about nine hours having yeah. a wander through five foot well, snow. <laughs> Uh, 
random now. Do you know how like normally you wake up and it's like, oh, well, I, I, I need a wee or I need to get a drink, I'm thirsty. I got up at about two o'clock because I needed to put my hat on. <laughs> so that's that's what it's like here. It's not relaxing. That's meant to be like the little relaxing yeah. bit. Listen, stop complaining because um, I've arranged for you to go and finally meet some Eskimos. Uh, and it's in a little town called Barrow, which is the most northerly point in Alaska. I've arranged a little ice road trucker to take you there. Bye. Right. Uh, See you later. See you later. It's just snow and ice and uh, an Eskimo village. Yeah. There's just not a whole lot there. <laughs> For a place to live, I'd call it the armpit of the universe. <laughs> it's not bad. It'd be way on my bottom of the list of where I'd want to live. And then the people up there at Barrow, they're out there on their hunting trips and stuff. They got polar bears to contend with. They could be sleeping in their ice shelter there, and a polar bear come along and just all of a sudden start digging them out. Digging what out? Digging them out of their shelter. People? Yeah. <laughs> Anything up there that moves or smells is food to a polar bear. Right. It actually dig you out. They will, if you're in a shelter, yeah, oh, yeah. dig you out. And they, they will be persistent too. They will go. They will keep going until they get what they're after. Uh, they're the apex predator. <laughs> uh, there, there's, there's, yeah, none more dangerous up there. It actually dig you out. They will, if you're in a shelter, yeah, they'll dig you right out of there. Well, probably that's why not many people stay in igloos now, isn't it? I mean, that's like a fridge <laughs> full yeah. of food. It's, it's, like a fridge, it's like a fridge with food, that's it. Right. It'll be a, a life-changing experience, Point Barrel. Well, say, like, if you, if you were allowed to pick off this bucket list, what would you pick? You could do anything. Oh. You could see anything, eat anything. Maybe go to Australia or... You know, travel around the world a bit, but it sure wouldn't be Point Barrow. Oh, <laughs> 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 right, that, that look on his face was he, he just he just became resigned to it. You know, uh, uh, that was that it was that oh well grin. I was like, ah, hell, here we go. <laughs> I best go and see these Eskimos then, aren't I? Not a day for putting the washing out, is it? Early. <laughs> Rosabelle, how are you doing? Come on in. Your name? Carl. Carl, ah. Or Kunan. Yeah. Kunan. Jamie. Jamie. Welcome to Top of the World. Yeah, yeah. no, that's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't get any more on top, can you? Right on the top. Right. Freezing. Heat's yeah. meant to rise. Uh-huh. Doesn't it, yeah? <laughs> OK. Freezing. <laughs> Will you take my shoes off? Uh, come here and yap. If you want to. Only yeah. if you want to. Yeah. What's your reason to come to Barrow, Alaska? To see a whale. Oh, goodness. Big whale. I, I just want to see one. Just Would see you like one. to see Maktuk? Maktuk. 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 Chok. Maktuk. Oh. Are you hungry? A little bit peckish. Is this like the, 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 the Eskimo version of Golden Girls? What's going on? The outlaying <laughs> of a bowhead whale. That's whale. Yeah, it is whale. Let's have a look. Bowhead whale. We eat it fresh. Or eat it frozen. It's just that when I said I came here to see whale, I meant swimming, not in a carrier bag. <laughs> I'll have just a small, a small oh, yeah, piece. Sure. Normally, if I have meat, it's cooked, it's warm. They're having like just taking stuff out of a freezer and sucking on it. Like a little little buffet them to that. Just open the fridge, suck on some processed peas and a bit of meat. Everything's like having an ice pop here. It has a fishy taste. Yeah, fishy it's smell. Very delicious. You can even. How is it? Can you have that? Aria, is it good? Very oh, chewy, isn't it? Okay, here. That's caribou frozen. We eat it frozen. Mmm. 
Why, why do you have an oven? You have an oven, but everything's cold. <laughs> I don't play it. Hey? What's He's got a point. What's happened? <laughs> He's got so a point. I rolled, I thought, great, you know, I can just sit down, they'll probably nod off after a bit, all the excitement of having a visitor. And uh, she said, no, I've got, I've got plans, I'm going to set you out. And I was thinking maybe bingo or something like that with her age or a bit of shopping or just something that old people do. It's nice. The what? The weather. Feet are freezing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's OK. Not really. <laughs> She's got one of them snow bikes. She says, come on, we go. I'm going to take you to Point Barrow. All right, no helmet or anything. I'm thinking, Jesus, look at her. She's got these bifocals on. She shouldn't really be on the road. <laughs> do you have to have a license for one of these? What? I said, do you have to have a license to drive one of these? She couldn't hear me. I was trying to nope. talk to her. If I need to have a wee... What's that? Are there toilets? Yelling on this side, that side, trying to get through to her ears. Are there toilets at Point Barrow? <laughs> Her eyes are knackered, <laughs> her ears are crap. She was in charge of the bike. <laughs> She's giving me a headache. <laughs> she kept saying, oh, it's going to be so great, you know, when we get to Point Barrow. I don't know what it is, I've never heard of it. Yay! Point Barrow! This is it. This is it. What? Th is this it? Yeah. Well, there's no else here. Yeah. Beautiful around here. Beautiful. Nice. It's the same as where we were. <laughs> I said it's the same as where we were. Oh. <laughs> uh. Welcome to Point Barrow. Barrow? Point Barrow. Yay! Yes, sir. Yeah. It's a northernmost point in the whole wide world. Huh. Right here. All oh, this is ice. Yeah. When you come here, what do you do? Get my thermos, but I didn't bring one. You didn't bring what? Thermos bottle. Did you did you say you bring some tea? No, I thought there'd be something here. I thought they'd have a coffee. Coffee, tea, cake. Oh yeah, cake. I didn't bring any. Oh brilliant. I know that saying, <laughs> you're on top of the world means you're over the moon, you're happy. Well, I am. It's freezing. I've got a snotty nose and my feet are going numb. <laughs> sure, I've got frostbite. I just thought there'd be more to it, that's all. Did... Didn't he say at the beginning he was going to try not to moan so much because he did a lot of moaning because of the heat? <laughs> In the other place? <laughs> if I remember right, that's what he said. <laughs> I've seen a lot of wild bones knocking about everywhere you look. They're just dotted around, big massive wild bones. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem with eating whale. When you think about it, it's not like a chicken, where you can just give the bones to a cat or stick it in the bin. you got a big massive bone about the size of a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Everyone knows what you've had for your tea. It's out in the garden, big massive <laughs> bone. Can't get shut up. <laughs> Oh no. Why why do I always cringe when I hear that phone ring? <laughs> Cuz I know they're about to mess with him again. But somehow. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a a, a glacier mint. I'm stood on top of an ice cube. You're complaining that it's a bit cold. Right. You're complaining you're in the middle of nowhere. But I don't understand. You chose this trip. What did you think it was going to be like? Because I thought I was going to see a whale. And when I've seen a whale on the telly, it's normally a nice, calm ocean right. with the fin sticking out the top. He's all in its head, blurting some water out and a nice bit of music. Right. Where I am now, I'm like in a giant <laughs> fridge that's got out of hand. He's <laughs> fucking freezing. But it's an experience. This is things to do mm. before you die. It's not like it's dangerous, is it? Well, it is dangerous because yeah. there's polar bears knocking about. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test you for testicular cancer or <laughs> test your prostate, <laughs> did you? No. 
<laughs> Leave it up to Ricky to bring up something like that. <laughs> While he's standing there in the middle of the freezing cold. <laughs> Nitpicking little things. I knew he was going to mess with you about something. Did you put your stick in a can, sir? Or test your prostate? Did you? No. <laughs> Is it no? No. But that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer and testicular cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's one of the biggest killers, right? Yeah. And, and that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear. And that's you relax for another year. I, I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. I've got little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, I'm dead. Right. So don't be worrying about me testicles right. and me That's ass. Right. This doesn't happen on Bruce Parry. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right. See you later. Oh, see you later. Right. I'm never going to see a whale. What's the point? in this program being in HD to waste the time being in colour. <laughs> it's giving right. me a headache. I don't understand it. How can you have all this and the sun? It's weird. But that makes it worse. Right. It blinds you. But then again, if you live here and you go blind, you're not missing anything, are you? <laughs> not right. to look at anyway. All right. You got a point. You know, when I spoke to Ricky, he said, you know, don't be messing about making snowmen and all that. He said, get involved. You know, get some hands-on experience of what it's like living in that community. I'm Carl. I'm Rob. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna have you come out with me and help me pick up some waste. And then I got the radio, they'll call me in if Someone needs a bucket picked up, or just any sort of rubbish. Just someone calls you. Sewage, you, you know, from the toilet. But I didn't realise <laughs> part of you know getting my hands on something, getting my hands on a load of shit. That's a lot, isn't it? Is that a day's worth? Uh, depends on the house. I'm gonna tilt and I'm gonna stand to the side. <laughs> so I get splashes, I don't get hit. Funny buckets. That's what they call them. <laughs> Which sort of sounds nice, doesn't it? It sounds like something that <laughs> someone might call a, a boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend, honey bucket. <clears throat> but then when you see it... Right. There you go. Fast. You don't want to get splashed. It's, it's coming out of the... There you go. Good job. Oh, God <laughs> almighty. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't understand why it's got that name. It's just a big bucket with thin bags of shit and piss in them. Yeah, that smells my money. There's a lot of shit in that. It's heavy, isn't it? It can be. Sometimes they get filled to the rim. <laughs> Apparently not every house has them, but there's still like a load of them that just have these honey buckets, which plastic buckets, you stick the proper toilet seat on them and you can just have them anywhere in your house. The more I heard about it, I kind of thought, I quite like the idea of being at home and oh, no matter no. Where, where you are in the house, you can have a shit. Because <laughs> sometimes it is annoying when Football's on or whatever, you have to wait till half time instead yeah. of just going, actually, just get the honey bucket. Oh, it's God. that end of it. They don't need your sort of Sky Plus or anything here. Things to do before you die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next one, let's get this done as quick as we can. I can't be doing with this. What's that look like? You think it's fine and then you disturb it. The smell wakes up. Oh, don't do that again. People called him up. As we're driving along, his, his radio thing was going, going, quick, quick, get to number 188 or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> Jesus, what, why, what's the emergency? Oh, I need a honey bucket. What's wrong with yours? When you get there, you realise a bucket's been here, it hasn't been picked up, it's frozen. Frozen! The shit's frozen? Frozen! When was it last picked up? The other day, they forgot to pick it up, they didn't pick it up. He seemed livid. But they've got nothing else to worry about. I mean, it's a weird, it's a <laughs> weird worry, isn't it? That you've got a tub of shit you can't get rid of. But that's the only time I've seen an Eskimo animated here. Can I get a bucket? Uh, yeah, you can have a bucket. You can have that. Thank you. It's all right. Remember to tip me at Christmas. 
Right. Okay, stop messing about now in the Arctic. You've got some whales to see. Uh, I thought it'd be fun if you did it by husky. Oh, but good. only use them if they're treated well. If they want to pull you along. If not, walk, all right? Don't shower them. Don't hit them. Make sure they're fed. Make sure they're enjoying it. Don't make them do anything they don't want to do. Make sure their feet aren't sore. If they are, get them little shoes or something. <laughs> all right. See you later, boy. Okay. Oh. All right. Get him little shoes or something. Going? Okay. Hey, you must be Carl. Yeah, Carl. I'm Bill Carter. Bill. Nice, nice to meet you. This is your team over here. This is Woodrow. He's your leader. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's Wood Woodrow. Woodrow. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I'm, I'm going. Wood hey. Zach. <laughs> this is Jesse. 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 Why is he so icy? Yeah. This one's Simon. Simon. Hi, Simon. Carl! Oh. <laughs> it's like when you're at a wedding and everyone's going, this is Frank, the cousin, and the, it's, it's, you know, stepfather of the... And you, you kind of go, oh, right, yeah, and you think, a second later, it's out of your mind. I stink. You have to stand here watching. I have to stand here watching while I hook my dogs up. So they don't run away. He's good at fun, this. It's like going round to a friend who has got a baby, and it makes me realise I don't want one. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So I got on the back of it. No instructions really. It was like use the anchor to stop it, use the brake to slow it down. But that's not enough, is it? Can I still pulling me? I've got my foot on the brake. Keep your feet on the floor. Put your foot on the brake. Fucking hell! I'm gonna let go. Fuck me! Fuck off! Hold on! Hey yo! <laughs> Fucking hell, he's a hump! What are we doing? It reminded me of being in a supermarket when you jump on a trolley. You do all that, and I'm pretty good at that. It's the same <laughs> rush, you sort of know yeah. you're in no control whatsoever. That would be an adrenaline rush and a half. That would be an adrenaline rush and a half right there. That would be fun. Oh man. I, I can only imagine. No, you're in no control whatsoever. Slow down, you twat! <laughs> what sort of lake is this? Easy, boys. Easy, boys! Fucking stop! Stop! I said, when the dogs get old, what do they do? And they said, oh, we sort of, you know, we just retire them. <laughs> now, I don't know if that means someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball and never see it again. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Where's the five foot snow today? They don't listen at all. Shouting the name, foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. It looks like you were doing all right there. Fucking fuck! <laughs> 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 you fucking shit! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Where are we meant to be going? I thought you said this is a lake. It's a river. But what's all this here? Uh, water, you're fine. Can we just stop a minute? Yeah. See, they don't listen, do they? Yeah. Seems to be getting rougher. They're not taking any notice. That brake doesn't work. <laughs> the pad thing is a waste of time. My legs are killing me, my arms are hurting. <laughs> what? But I've never had a go on one. You're taking me through rivers and shit. What else is up there? Slow. Easy, boys. <laughs> <sighs> How many hours are we doing? How many hours are we doing? How many hours? Fuck. <sighs> I finally get some signal. Put the phone on. A couple of messages. I think, oh, that's nice. See who's been missing me, thinking Suzanne might have been in touch. Oh no. My mum and dad, something like that. First message comes up, it's from Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> Just asking me if the doctor's been round yet. <laughs> Still going on about this thing about having a finger up the arse. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen, especially not on telly. Mm. I certainly don't want to have it done here. It's freezing weather, the doctor's hands will be cold. It's the last thing I want. I think I've got a temperature as it is. <laughs> All right. It's hard to tell because it's so cold. Hi, 
Carl. All right, mate. How's it going? Well, I'm fine, mate. Where are you speaking to me from? Um, just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. I have I, all I, the only whales I've seen are dead ones on roundabouts. They seem to stick the bones everywhere. Right, I know you're supposed to be seeing a whale, but it seems mad when you're there to not, you know, stop and see some um, glaciers as well at the same time. But, but I've, I've, Steve, honestly, I've seen nothing but snow and ice since I've been here. I don't need to see any more. It's madness. You know, the glaciers are melting really rapidly. I mean, they're going at the rate of something like 500 metres a year. Some of them are melting 100 metres a day. Uh, is it on the way to the whale thing? It's sort of on the way. You know, they're in the water, the whales are in the water. It's a water-related experience. All right. Enjoy it. OK. I don't know Steve sort of making a big deal about it, like, before they've gone. I don't think they'll go. It's still freezing here. Global warming. Look at the amount of kit I've got on. My auntie Nora was worried about the ice melting. She just thought that meant all ice gone. She was thinking, what am I going to do, you know, with my whiskey and coke? <laughs> it's like, no, no, it's just a mountain. She's like, oh, whatever. I like it. I mean, it looks good. I like, I like the way it looks. Good colour and everything, but I don't know what, what Steve wants me to get from this. And he wants you to appreciate the damage the global warming's doing. Yeah, it's not me who wants to be told, it's Susan at home. She's into wasting energy. Air dryer, doing her hair all the time. I, I don't do that. I am energy efficient, because I'm bald. <laughs> not wasting hot water, washing my hair. Right. No air dryer. If she cared so much, shave her head. <laughs> What are they doing messing about at the back? I've seen little boats being put in. Steve wanted you to get close. So we're in glacier water. How close do I need to get? I don't... Uh, okay. I, it's just getting silly. It's dicey, this. Proper... If I'm in there swimming about and that goes off, causes a wave, dead. <laughs> Go on. How's the water running? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, Carl. Yeah? You're meant to be getting in the water. <sighs> right. What's the matter? <laughs> it's pretty... <laughs> I wouldn't mind if there was a whale in here. It'd be a, a reason to get in. Have a look. <laughs> There's nothing in here. What's this about? Hey? Floating about like a crisp packet. Hey. What's the point of that? I've seen whales on the telly. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always hearing. They might not be around for much longer. I suppose you go out of your way to see it, don't you? It's like your grand, she's in hospital. You're going, oh, she's got a week left to live. You go out of your way. It's not always a great time to see them, because they're in a bit of a mood. <laughs> but you sort of go out of your way, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out of my way a bit here to yeah. see something before it dies. Hello? All right. I'm just, uh, I'm just drained, to be honest. Well, listen, don't get ill. We need to have a proper medical. You know what I'm talking about. We need to make sure your prostate and your testicles are OK. Like I say, I haven't bumped into any doctors. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. But, uh, but yeah. Right. Well, uh, well, you have to make sure they are real doctors. Because I'm like that. With Dr. Fox, never again. <laughs> no, I now, today, you're going to go and see what you actually came for in the first place whale watching. Um, I've sorted a boat for you. Now, it's not a tourist boat, you know, you're quite privileged to get in. Oh, you're no. Not just being packed in with all the, the, the general punters. Um, it's a, a, a working fishing boat, and um, uh, my man Brian's going to look after you. So once again, an absolute money can't buy experience.
to you, Carl Pilkington. And my pleasure. Enjoy, man. All right. I'll yeah. see you later. Bye. Bye. I'm not bothered about seeing a lot. It's a money can't buy experience, then how did he arrange it? You know what I mean? Anyway. Later. Just a thought. Yeah, I'm not bothered about seeing lots. I just want to see a big one. I want something that makes me go, bloody hell. What is that doing there? <laughs> you know, look at the size uh, of that. That's what I want. I'm into fish. I don't like eating them, but there's a lot of weird stuff in that ocean. There's one uh, lantern fish that has a, has a light bulb on its head, like a, a thing, because it's so deep down in the dark. And there was a bloke who was into fish, he got one, had it in a fish tank, and he used it to read his book by at night. You never think of a fish as being handy. When oh. Suzanne wants a fish, I always go, what's the point? They don't do anything. But I'd have one of them, because I get sick of leaving the light on and stuff. I'm <laughs> forever going around turning switches off. Hey, Carl. Oh, God. Time to uh, chop, chop. Give the guys a hand. Grab them a pair of coveralls or something. Size large. Oh, he stinks. <laughs> How long are you out for? I had a feeling. Night. Pretty clean on the inside. Just the outside's it's got fish oil on it. Oh, fuck's sake. Things to do before you die, yeah? <laughs> and here's the fun part. Watch that knife in your hand there. I don't want to. Oh, someone ran over it. Well, I have never it... seen an octopus that looks like that. <laughs> Look at it. Is it inside out or what? What's that? It looks like it's a bum bag. Yeah, it has been turned inside out. So chop chop, move your hands, baby. Your yeah. hands, chop chop chop. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Chop chop. I wanted to see a whale. You know I was doing this. I feel a bit sick already. I tell you what, he's pacing about nice out there day. like a madman. <laughs> okay, get these guys all good and smashed up. Time to make hay, gentlemen. Just got to get some air. We can't do this. He said we're out all night. There's no way I can do this all night. It's really bobbing up and down now. I don't know who to be angry at. That, him up there, or Ricky, or what? Yeah. I feel like fucking death here. Fucking get out of me if you want to be sick. Received 6.20 a.m. Listen, I'm stuck here like a I've another boat. It's going dark. I've been on it for Christ knows how fucking long. He's doing me fucking dead in. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm here on the boat over me and fishermen and friends, and I'm fucking still... See you later. Is he better inside or out? Is that... Down, down, down. Was that him sending a message to Ricky? <laughs> That's what it sounds like, but it didn't quite sound like his voice. Uh. Is he better inside or out? Down, down, down. I don't want to be a fisherman. I never said I wanted to do anything like this. It's not worth it. All this pissing about for a fish. Zach Afron. <laughs> for fuck's sake. King Kong. Funny, What's wrong with this? Why is there no picture but the sound on? Does this tell even work? It's driving me insane. Can you put the telly on for me, please? Can you put the telly on for me, please? Put the Let's telly on. Man. I don't want to do fish. We never see that with rang it on in the daddy. I'm not cutting any more fish. Get your rang it out and no, no. take it out, man. Oh, I don't know. That's too bad, man. I didn't want to I didn't come to cut fish. On the galley. It's your fucking King Kong, eh? It's having me insane. It's the longest intro. Huh. Someone told me he's getting seasick. I can't, I can't just be 
fuck's sake. <laughs> what? Huh? What? What? There's some wheels. Seriously? Yeah, some wheels are there. Where are those? Yeah. I can't climb up there. Get into the There, there, up ahead. See that? See the air coming out? You're not going to see them from down there, Carl. Really not bothered. He's falling asleep. So we're right, Toast. There, there, there. Ah. Out the water. there, there, there. Oh, there's a fin. There's a fin thing. It is a tail and all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it looks like you got seasick. All right, um, I hope you enjoyed the whales. Amazing. Um, I just wanted to put your mind at rest. Um, I know you missed that prostate exam, but do not worry. I've arranged for you to have one as soon as you get back in England. So, um, <laughs> yeah, relax. All right, boy. See you later. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> he wasn't going to let it go. <laughs> hmm. This was a great episode. Uh, the skiing part, or the dog sleds, rather. That was that was hilarious. <laughs> He's like, "Fucking hell, stop!" <laughs> that was good. Anyway, oh my goodness, I love watching these with you guys. Uh, I absolutely love this man. He is. <laughs> He's hilarious without meaning to be. That's what makes it so funny. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah. This this was great. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Let me know what else I need to look for. I'll get there as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me as much as I enjoyed watching it with you. And I hope to see you on the next video. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here at Jerry J.